In an age where international and intercontinental travel have become frequent, infections too travel far and wide. This is why the novel coronavirus strain has become a global health emergency and has affected patients in four continents. It is assumed that some infected people may have traveled on airliners and spread the virus to their home countries. Naturally, therefore, there have been concerns whether planes can become a carrier of the novel coronavirus. However, David Power, a physician and medical advisor to the International Air Transport Association, says that the virus can't survive for long on seats or armrests and regular cleaning of the plane is enough to contain the spread of the virus. Of course, if someone with the disease is found to have traveled in the plane, extra cleaning is appropriate. The risk of catching a serious viral infection on an aircraft is low, he says, adding that the air supply in an airliner is a combination of fresh air and recirculated air that is 99.97% free of virus or other microbes. However, Power says that the greatest risk of infection on a flight comes from physical contact with another person. And for this, he recommends what almost everybody knows but rarely practices. David Power says that the best way to avoid the coronavirus is frequent hand washing. Just shaking hands with somebody will be a greater risk by far for catching the infection than some dry surface like seats and armrests that have no biological material on it. Therefore, the best way to prevent infections is to wash hands or use hand sanitizer or preferably do both. He says one should wash their hands and dry them and wherever that is not possible, an alcohol-based sanitizer should be used. On increasing use of masks and gloves, the leading physician is skeptical. He says masks and gloves do a better job of spreading bugs than stopping them. He says masks are best used by infected people to protect others. But even in this situation, wearing a mask all the time is ineffective as masks allow viruses to be transmitted around it. Through it, and worse still, if it becomes moist, it will encourage the growth of viruses and bacteria. Gloves too collect microbes from surfaces being touched and then transfer it to new surfaces. A Times Online Report